it's Dave Dobbins. And LaVilla Craft. And welcome to Victor Videos. We're coming to you from the Destiny Teen Center in Florence, Kentucky. Yes, this is our second time here. We came here about a year ago and we decided to check it out and see how it's been doing. Yeah, kind of give you an update. And also on today's Victor Videos, we're going to talk with Alex, one of the staff members here, and let you know about some of the local groups that have been in here, mm -hmm. kind of what's happening right here in the Cincinnati area. And on this program, we've got a special interview with new pachyderm artist Kelly Reeson. Oh, yeah. Didn't you hook up with her over at uh, Kings Island or something? Uh, actually, it was over at one of the oh, colleges yeah, here in town. that's right. Mm -hmm. So that you can stay tuned for that. It's going to be great. And uh, all kinds of great videos. Matter of fact, on this program, all brand new videos. Whoa. <laughs> We'd like to also uh, thank you for being with us for the last four years as we just finished filming our 100th show. This is the beginning of our fifth season. Yeah, isn't that exciting? Yeah, it yeah. Really is. So stick with us, guys. That's right. See where we head. <laughs> we got, that's right. See where we head. Well, let's get started with two new ones, Lavila. Yeah, we're going to see Petra, Sight Unseen. Followed by Brian Duncan and Love Takes Time. Two in a row on Victory Videos. <laughs>
For 51 weeks a year, Roy Waters practices telling stories to his customers. He's so good at it, most of them don't even know he's practicing. He practices so the one week a year he's not cutting hair, his stories will be perfect. Perfect for sharing around the campfire at a Salvation Army summer camp, where each year he works with youth in need. The Salvation Army salutes volunteers like Roy Waters, whose time and effort for others make a great story. What we've learned from research on the human heart has changed the way people live and how long they live. Death rates from heart attack have declined by a remarkable 30.9% since 1977, but it remains America's number one killer. So contact the American Heart Association, because what you don't know can kill you. Remember how good it felt the first time you gave five? Well, now there's another way to give five. Set a goal to give more. Five hours a week and 5% of your income to the causes you care about. It'll make you feel like a winner every day of your life. So give more. Give five. Call 1-800-55-GIVE-5. Welcome back to Victory Videos. If All you've right. just joined us, we're here for the second time checking in the Testi Destiny Teen Club, Club. Center. 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 See? <laughs> we anyway, tried. if you've got teenagers in the house, you ought to go and grab them and get them to sit down in front of the set because you want to hear about this club. That's right. The, the matter of fact, the, the teens that are here <laughs> couldn't sit still. They're out there having fun <laughs> over here with the, with the games over here and just having mm -hmm. a good time. And uh, we're going to be talking a little bit later with um, with Alex, who's one of the staff members here. Right. Right. Going to tell you guys at home about a place where you can go, bring your kids, drop them off, and you know that they're safe and they're with other Christians and having fun. Right. Plus, it's a good place to come if you have somebody who you really want to win to the Lord. Yeah, that's true. They have uh, counselors around, don't they? That's right. A lot mm -hmm. of neat stuff. So yeah. we're going to move on with two more new videos. Now, these are really Hot. The first one is by Michael W. Smith, and you've been hearing this one on the radio uh, probably lot. pretty strong <laughs> on secular and Christian radio. This is called I Will Be There For You, followed by... And then we're going to see a new one from a group called Two Hearts. This ought to be a good one, Miracles. That's right, the husband and wife team mm -hmm. of Two Hearts. Enjoy. Two in a row on Victory Videos.
heart So be strong for me Right from the start Cause I've been deceived And I need to know That you'll stay by me What you say is true That you were made for me And I was for you I believe that miracles and Dreams come true My prayers were answered When I found you Made for each other When God made us I think heaven above for the miracle of love. I do. Thank you, Lord. Mm, I was so close, giving up. Then you made me see where there's faith, there's trust, and I've learned to believe where there's hope, there is love. I believe that miracles and dreams come true. Oh, and my prayers were answered when I found you. I thank heaven above for the miracle of the sweet miracle. Dreams come true. Oh, I know prayers were answered when I found you. Made for each other when God made us. I thank heaven. Welcome back to Victor Videos. Hi, Dave. <laughs> That's not me, LaVilla. <laughs> she really loosened up a little bit, this, Dave. This is one of our friends here. He's a little tight. <laughs> Almost stiff, babe. Kind of quiet. Doesn't say much. Doesn't say but he much. dresses so he dresses well. He dresses so well with this Destiny Teen Center. Got it yes. right that time. Yes. Welcome back to Victor Videos. I'm Dave Dobbin. And I'm LaVilla Kraft. And uh, we hope you're enjoying our show. We've got some great, great videos for you today. We are in Florence, Kentucky. Why are we here, Dave? Well, we are at um, what's called, as I said before, Destiny Teen Center. And um, LaVilla, why do you think a teen center is important? Why is this place here? Well, I have a teenager. and um, She has I, a teenager. I do. I really do have a teenager. Yes. She's a wonderful girl. And there's a lot of times when they really don't have any place to go. You don't want them to go someplace where you think they're going to be unsafe, hanging out at the mall, hanging out in the streets. That can really be scary. This is a fun place for teens to get together and have a great time in a safe atmosphere. That's right. We've got uh, pinball machines. We've got ping pong over here. Basketball. Pool table that pool. I beat you at last time. That's right. We got, And also, <laughs> another neat thing that's here, there's a lot of music up on the stage behind yes. us. Uh, concerts are here on Saturday night, and uh, we're going to hear more about that. Uh, but you know, La Villa is really neat because a lot of a lot of kids, a lot of teens, really end up on the streets, and this is a place where you can come and and just have some good fellowship and have a good time, and not mm -hmm. have to worry about being, um, you know, unsafe. Right. Now, this is not meant to be a church or your home, but it is a real nice alternative, and it's a good safe place yeah. to come to. Yeah. Yeah. Destiny Teen Teen Center. 
<laughs> He's having a lot of trouble with I, that. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Well, up next, we've got our um, our interview on Nahamam. Uh, yeah, easy for you to say, huh? Yeah, didn't you do an interview with Kelly Reeson? Kelly Reeson at Cincinnati Bible College. a little College. bit of that. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, what's up next? Well, that's, that's what's that's up next. That's up next? Aren't we good? We're really with it, aren't we? <laughs> this is Kelly Reeson on Victor Videos. Hi, it's Dave Dobbins, and welcome to Victor Videos. And today on our program, we'd like to welcome Cincinnati Zone pachyderm artist, Kelly Reeson. Hi. Hi. Nice Welcome. To see you, nice Dave. to see you too. Thanks. Good to see you. We're, we're here um, prior to one of your many concerts here in Cincinnati. And I understand uh, from your father, I was just talking to him earlier, that you just got back from the West Coast. Right. Right. It's really there. Yes, it is. <laughs> now, and uh, you're on Pachyderm Records, which I said before. Um, how's it going? How does it feel to be out? from Cincinnati ministering for Jesus and telling people about the Lord through song? Well, um, signing with the record company is totally different than what I'm used to, uh, whereas the ministry part is exactly what I'm used to, you know, so it's, it's kind of a dichotomy, if you will. Um, the pachyderm stuff, the record stuff, that's very overwhelming. Um, sometimes it's real easy to lose your focus. Um, but the ministry is what I've been doing for a very long time, so um, that's the exciting part for me. You know, not your songs number three on the charts or, um, you know, the album selling really great. Um, the part that I love is going out there and meeting the people one-on-one -on -one and spending time with them and getting to know them and know where their heart is and what they're going through, and that's what really makes a difference to me. So I guess to answer your question in a long, roundabout sort of way, <laughs> it's going real well. It can be very overwhelming but very rewarding as well. Let's talk about that. You know, there are a lot of people that uh, come to concerts with high expectations. Uh, they want to see their, their artist, their, their star, if you will. They listen to your records, they hear you, and they say, I want to hear her sing that song. Uh, but wh what issues are the people really, when these kids come up to you after the concert, what are the kind of things you're hearing them say? What are kids oh, well, struggling I with? these? hear days? a lot of different things. Um, and how, what kind of security, low self-esteem, uh, peer pressure broken homes, um, absence of God's presence, feeling that God's not there in their lives and they don't know where he is, that their prayers are, are hitting the ceiling and ringing back in their ears. Those are a lot of the issues that I hear a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to take a little bit of a short break here okay. and we're going to come back and talk more with Kelly Reeson right after this, so stay tuned. Drugs is like being on top of the world. Everyone says so. Everyone seems to be having one dandy old time. Hey, it's part of growing up. Or is it? Just think about this. Before you go and do something you've never done before, you just better know what you're jumping into. Sorry, we just rented it. That's too many children for this unit. We have a very long waiting list for these apartments. You could manage a loan here. I'm sorry, the owner has decided not to sell. When you hear lines like these, suspect housing discrimination. Fair housing is the law. You can fight housing discrimination and win. Fair housing opens doors. Call home. Housing opportunities made equal. <laughs> Vince, that new dummy cam is great. Yeah, it'll sure give people a whole new outlook on what it's like when you don't wear a safety belt. I think they'll get the picture. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. This is where I live. There are lots of doctors and machines for me and the other kids. Last week, a guy named Mike came. 
He took us all on a camping trip. Mike gives up a weekend a month to help a disabled child, but he gets back a feeling that lasts forever. When I get better, you know what? I'm gonna take Mike fishing. To find out what you can do in your community, call the Points of Light Foundation. Do something good. Feel something real. And welcome back to Victory Videos. Uh, you're seeing the inside of Destiny Teen Center in Florence, Kentucky. Dave Dobbins. Olivia LaCraft. And with us we have some actual <laughs> teens. Yes. We've got our buddy Philip. Yes. Go for it. It's Philip. Philip, we'd like for you to tell our audience, um, what you come here for? Hang out, play pool. Hang out and play pool? Listen to music. A lot of kids hang, come in? Pretty many. Yeah? How old are you, man? 14. 14. 14. Okay, and over here on this side, we've got John. John, where are you from? Florence, Kentucky. All right, right in here. It's an easy, easy walk, right? How old are you? So, I'm 13. Okay, and, and uh, how long have you been coming here to Destiny? Ever since it opened. So, you know, it's about it. Just ever since, the, like, the first, the grand opening, I've been here since, like, every week. Does this, like, uh, does this provide a real nice, different place? I mean, you ever feel like... I'm really glad I got a place to hang out at or yeah sometimes but like yeah it is because I mean you know there's kids here you can hang out with and there's you know music and you know it's just a good time good well you know do you guys come after school or you just come on the weekends or it's only open on the weekends only open on the weekends. I Friday came to paint in the week and like during the week you know flowers on the walls um so general all around good time all right, can be had right here. All right, we're going to go to some videos. Thanks, guys. We're going to go to some videos. Up first is music from the group of goats. This is called Somebody's Praying Lord, followed by... Followed by... AVB. Yeah, the Acapella, Acapella Vocal Band. Vocal band. And we're gonna... my heart. My, my heart. heart. My heart. <laughs> Two in a row. <laughs> on Victory Videos. Say, on Victory Videos. On Victory Videos.
Welcome back to Victory Videos. We've got Alex here, the staff member of the Destiny Teen Center. We want to get him to tell us a little bit about what he's doing here. Well, we, you know, we've talked a little bit about the club, the place, talked to some of the guys that come here. Um, why is this working for kids in Florence, Kentucky? Well, on a Friday night, Friday nights are a little slower than Saturday nights, but why it's working is we've been uh, formed a task force, what they call ourselves. We try to put together all uh, some events on Saturday night. We come up with points in terms like an Iron Man contest, and we try to shoot, you know, play a game of pool, you play darts, uh, maybe play foosball. The winner of different age groups uh, wins five bucks. Uh, another night we had a battle of the bands. Uh, another night we had a beach party. So Saturday night we really try to put on a, a big promotion to get people to come out. Friday night's kind of this. Um, or whatever shows up, and especially tomorrow night, we got Mortal coming in, so we're hoping that's going to be a big night. Okay, now you're you're located uh, off of uh, Route 42 in Florence, Kentucky, yeah. right right past uh, I-75. Downstairs is a secular club. Uh -huh. uh, uh, what do you call it? Just a, a hangout place. Yeah. 
What makes it different up here? Why do people want to come here and learn about Jesus? What what makes your place different? For one, you just said a magic word, Jesus, and we're open about it. That's uh, mm -hmm. that's why we're here. We're also it's a we look at this as an environment where uh, for a Christian environment where parents can drop their children off and it won't be going on with like what's going on in the secular teen club. We also hope that some of our teenagers that are born again will bring some of their friends in. We get a chance to get the word out. You know, the music that we play in the background. Uh, you know, it has some Jesus comes up and they talk about it. Uh, tonight you look around, you'll probably see some tracks we lay out on the tables. Not only ones, it's uh, the, the classic track of This Is Your Life. We have another one, this crazy guy that talks about problems you get into with uh, premarital sex. That's great. It really is. Cool. Whoop, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> you mentioned uh, groups coming. You said you had uh, bands come in on Saturday night and stuff. Is that frequent or? Uh, we, this is the first time we've had it since we formed a task force to go big guns in uh, January. So we're like three months into it. This is a big event night where we say, well, we have Mortal would come in. Mm -hmm. uh, that's because we were able from the, the, some other events that we have done that we have to raise enough money to bring them in. Uh, probably like to try like once a quarter is one thing we're trying to do. And then put, a, get a, put together again, we had a battle of the bands with our local bands, one of the bands at our church. Put together, we had three bands one night. Okay, so uh, as we wrap up this segment, uh, there are a lot of churches in the area. If you're watching this program and you want to find out more about it, um, and you'd like to be involved or bring your kids here or contribute financially or whatever, you know, um, there's there's a place that you can call and, and help out if they need to help. The number real quickly is? I don't know. <laughs> it's 371-9988. Three, three nine nine eight eight. Dave knows. That's right. Hey, listen, we're going to go yeah. right next to? Let's take a, a second look at uh, the interview with Dave and Kelly Reeson. Thanks, man. Thanks. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks a lot. And welcome back. We're talking with Kelly Reeson from Cincinnati, Ohio, and uh, you're on Pachyderm Records, which we we always want to promote that label just a little right. bit more. Okay. Tell us about the major focus of your ministry. Ah, my favorite question. Major focus. Yes. Major um, focus question. Definitely to the hurting, the underdogs. Um, if you got to know anybody in my family, they'll tell you that I was the type always brought home every stray that I could find. You know, I had That's a what duck. Your dad said. Oh yeah, I had a duck. I had a seal, a harbor seal. <laughs> Four dogs, four cats, a starling, you know, so all sorts of things. But I didn't just limit it to animals. I mean, it was always people, people. you know. And um, I think it started very early that God instilled in me a passion and love mm -hmm. for music, but not only for music, but for people. Ministry and and mercy. Uh, Yes, definitely. But to two factions of the church, I grew up in the church. I attend Springdale Church, the Nazarene here. Um, right. I've been going there for 28 years of my life, all of my life. And um, so I know that there's a lot of hurting people that are hiding in the church. And those are two factions. Number one, the people without hope who feel like they have no hope. Um, maybe people have grown up in church all their lives and... Um, People who are the pillars of the church, and we think they have no problems, you know, they need to be rejuvenated as well. Um, they need mercy, and they need grace, and, and they need a touch from time to time. And then also, the people who don't know the Lord, and maybe some sins that we have deemed um, worse sins, like maybe sexual perversion, like homosexuality, or abortion, or a drinking problem or something, and we've made these people the untouchable people. Mm -hmm. And what I want them to know is that Jesus didn't say, you know what? You clean up your act, and then you come to me, and we'll talk about it. But he said, you just come as you are, and you bring everything with you that, ha that you have, because no matter where you've been or what you've done, I still love you, that's you know? Great. And that, that's all that he asks of us. So that's, that's my great. major thrust of my ministry. That's great. Um, I was talking with Mark a little earlier from uh, World Mission. Right. Right. World Vision. World Vision. Right. And uh, Mark Collins. Yeah, that's right. And he was with, um, uh, with, with Mike Simon, Smith. With, um, right. Compassion International. We saw him last summer. Oh, sure. And uh, now he tells me that within the last, when the next three to six months, you're going to be somewhere in the world, like in Europe or something right, like that. Right. Right. Well, we're talking about several different Praise things. The Lord. Uh, what my interests are, and um, I have Native American Indian background. I and couldn't tell. Now I know. Everybody wants to know. So they said, "What is she?" Well, now you know. <laughs> um, and I would really like to spend some time. I know that Kenny Marks goes out to the reservations yes. all over. I'd really like to do that. Mm -hmm. um, they have so many different factions sponsoring a child, or um, they also work with the mentally retarded children all over the world. So we're just getting together right now and looking at a couple different issues that um, I could talk about. So I'm really That's excited great. about That's that. That's great. We're going to watch for that. Tell me a little bit about the future and what is happening with um, 
possibility of After the Hurricane video. Okay. Uh, that's the next single. The present single is Isn't It Time right now. And the next single released in February will be After the Hurricane. And there's a very good chance that a video will be accompanying that. Great. So, yeah. Right. Excited well, about listen, that. Well, listen, best of luck to you. Great. God bless Thank you, ministry. Dave. Thank Good you very much. You. I appreciate it. You're, watch the show yes. when I'm home. We so. appreciate that. She's the right. only one that we've interviewed who's <laughs> actually watch our show. Thanks. God bless right. you. Thanks. I appreciate Stay it. Stay tuned for more Victor videos right after this. My mother said I was too much trouble, so she threw me out. I wish I could go back home. If they take me, I just don't know what else to do. Wherever you are, Covenant House can get you help. Call us on the nine line. It's free. 1-800-999-9999. There are countries where bread is scarce, but this is America. Countries where electricity is rare, but this is America. Countries where infant mortality is a problem, but this is America. Here, it's a crisis. Every 13 minutes, another infant dies. But we can help prevent many of those deaths with prenatal care from programs like Healthy Start. Find out what you can do. Why? Because this is America. Hello, this is Kelly Reeson, and I am the new Pachyderm Word Recording Artist. When I'm home here in town in Cincinnati, my dog and I, Baklava Reeson, we watch Victory videos, so I hope you'll join us and watch it as well. And welcome back to Victory videos. Uh, that was <laughs> Kelly Reeson. I really like Kelly. Yeah, she's me with too. Pachyderm Records, LaVille, and I really think that uh, she's going to go places. You know, she's from right here in Cincinnati. No, I wasn't aware yeah, of that. We forgot to mention that to you guys back home. She's right from from right here in Cincinnati is a wonderful family and uh, her father's real strong support of her and her ministry and her mother and brothers and sisters and That's we cool. wish her well. That's great. We're going to see more from Kelly Reese so watch for her. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we've had a good time being with you here at, at the uh, <laughs> Destiny. It's, it's been, been fun. fun. Kind of makes you feel youthful, doesn't it? <laughs> it makes me feel youthful, yes ma'am. <laughs> But uh, if you if you don't have a place to uh, come to and you live in this area or maybe you don't mind hopping in a car driving 10 or 20 uh, minutes or so, come on down to Florence, Kentucky. If you need direction, 371-9988. That's uh, area code 606. And uh, you can find out more about what's happening here. A lot of right. Fun. And if it's kids, talk to your parents about bringing you. And if you're parents with kids, yeah. man, That's right. hook them up with this place. They'll love it. Yeah. And they play our program over here on the video screen. And yeah. A lot of music and stuff like that. And you'll love being able to relax knowing that there's some place that you don't have to worry about. Yeah. 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 Well, up next is a video we've been promising you since our last 100th show. Yeah. This is our last show from Wayne Watson. It's called It's Time. Now, we, we kind of wanted to apologize publicly. We didn't get to play all of it last show. <laughs> Sorry. It's really my fault. Because he talks so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I did my share, too. But this is a video, LaVilla, that really features a futuristic society without God, as if God mm -hmm. were removed from it, what it would really be like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's still a remnant of Christians available still right. for God to work through, too. And it kind of reminds me of what it would be like or what our world is, is fastly approaching towards if God is pulled out of our lives, out mm -hmm. of our, our, uh, our teens, out of our, the adults, and really out of all of our lives if we don't right. watch it. Right, so that's what makes it such a neat idea to have these type of establishments around. You know, these these uh, Christian-oriented teen groups where they can be fed the word, have a good time, and keep and it going. And love the Lord. That's right. right. Well, we're going to go to that video now, and this is Wayne Watson, and it's time on Victory Videos. Thank you. 
you gotta let it go. back in with that stiff guy. I wish he'd loosen up. He <laughs> needs to come to Destiny Teen Club more, don't you think? Yeah, he does. Boy. I stole his hat. Yeah, That's where his hat went. <laughs> See? He's in Destiny. He's having Des fun. Destiny stuff. Stuff, man. This is Des stuff. Destiny stuff. Yo, come on down to Destiny. We've got some good stuff for you. Good time <laughs> for you. Got it? Oh, gosh, right. Dave. <laughs> I know. Go back to being older. <laughs> hey, listen, thanks okay. for being with us on Victor Videos. We hope you enjoyed our program today with all the new videos. Mm -hmm. Kelly Reeson, and I uh, hope you've learned a little bit more about what's happening here in Florence, Kentucky. Yeah, bring your kids out. That's right. Yeah. Your hat's crooked. Hey, listen, we'll see you next time. It's <laughs> because it's cool, man. <laughs> on Victor Videos, it's Dave Dobbins. <laughs> and Lavila Craft. Saying remember to love somebody today with the love of Jesus. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.